Hello everyone and welcome to Mike Muses Megazords. Today's video is issue 55 of the Altair Megazord build. Put your teeth in. Um, continuing on with the body of the Triceratops on the left hand side. So let's open up our packaging, see what parts we've got. We've still got our main body build from the last issue and all of the parts left over. So we've got a very simple parts check. We've got the back hind quarter, the back left hind quarters uh, metal section, and three plus one silver uh, two by five machine screws. So this is going to be an assembly jobby today with lots of uh, lots of parts. <coughs> so I'll move that off to the side there. Over the page we go, and let's get started. So the first part we're going to be doing then is assembling the uh, the tread section. So we've got 54.5, which is the, um, the wheel axles section, 54.4, um, which is the spacer unit. And we'll need to have the tab part here pointing towards, uh, pointing away from you when you assemble this. So that'll go on top there like that, and then the wheel tread part itself. Um, you'll need to have this this way round as it's got spaces inside so the whole thing will be held in place correctly. And then we're going to grab two of the um, black machine screws left over from the previous issue, 5412, and we'll just put, it, put those in at the top of the tread section of these two parts here. So here's number one. And number two. There we go. So that's the tread section assembly uh, complete for the moment. Uh, sorry, it's first half of it's complete. Second part is we're going to take the small wheels, labelled up as two, and the two large wheels, labelled up as one, break them off the sprue, and then we'll just give them a quick clean up with the X-Acto knife to make sure that they are nice and smooth just to get any remainder sprue markings off there two obviously it's nice, be very careful, don't cut yourself three and all done. So we're going to go one, two, two, one with these wheels. So one large, two small, two small, and one large, and these just press into place like that. Okay. Now we're going to put this onto the body assembly here. So what we've got is on the back side of the tread assembly, we've got a little uh, groove section here. Um, you're going to want this uh, post part to go through this slot here. So we'll just flip it up, Ooh, no, make sure it's the right way around and the wheels are facing out. Pop that into place. So that'll just sit there for the moment. And then we're going to grab this connector piece, this assembly bit. This will hold the tread unit in place so that it can move up and down, which I'll demonstrate in a second. And then we're just going to take the remainder two black machine screws from issue 54 and secure them in place at point number one. At the top of the connector part and then point number two just in the middle here and then what that does is that will hold the tread assembly in place so that in dinosaur mode you can have the wheels down and in megazord mode they'll be up how cool is that <coughs> 
And then the last part of this assembly for today, it's a nice quick one, is to take 55-1, which is our metal piece from this issue, and then the three silver machine screws, and we're just going to attach this into here. So point 0.1, point 0.2, uh, that one, and point 0.3 here. So we just flip that over. That fits in nice and neatly. We'll lay it down for a second, and then we'll start. So first one goes here. Second one at the top here. Is that right? No, beg your pardon. Second one down this deep hole here. Third one right here in the back corner. There we go. So, more moving parts, and that is us done with the assembly for this issue 55. So, thank you very much for watching. Any questions, comments, um, drop them in the box underneath the video. And we'll see you next time for issue 56 of the Altair Megazord build. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.